Hey everybody, so I just got a package in the mail. It's an order from Aircraft Spruce. Now I'm hoping it's the last package I need to uh, complete the annual inspection. So let's go see what I got and I'll take you out to the plane. All right, so I'm in my kitchen. The Aircraft Spruce order just came in. So I'll see what we got. We've got some aircraft rated zip ties, a few different lengths. In here, some more zip ties and some various hardware that I will use uh, just in the future or as different projects come up. Uh, some of these will be for my ELT install. So stay tuned for that one. This is what I'm excited about though. This is an aircraft engine heater from Easy Heat Inc. What this is is a heating pad. Uh, there's a heating element inside. This will get adhered to the bottom of the oil pan on the engine. Uh, so basically turn it on, run it for a few hours on those cold weather days, and the engine oil will be heated up to a point where I can safely start it and minimize engine damage. Uh, in the future, what I want to do is run a switch that'll run off a cell phone network. So basically I can send a message to the plane and uh, have it turn on a few hours before I get out there. Uh, so that's in the future, future plan, but uh, let's go out to the plane and I'll show you what else I've been working on. Hey everybody. So one of the things I wrapped up working on is some cowl repairs. Uh, so what ended up happening, I think probably for, from some rough handling in the past. Anyways, there were some deep kind of gouges and scratches all in this piece. Uh, I don't know if maybe it was from when somebody took off this section in the past, that maybe the edges of the metal or uh, maybe those... Uh, you know, quarter turn fasteners down below if they ended up scratching up that cowl. But uh, I did the repairs to the gouges and scratches. Uh, I ended up using like a flexible filler made for fiberglass and then hit it with a primer and a 2K paint. So there's some good chemical resistance as well. I ended up repainting the spinner. That's ready to go back on the aircraft. And uh, now for this lower part of the cowl, I ended up doing a repair on the white part of this cowling. So I'll just move around here so you can see it a little better. Uh, ended up turning out really nice. Can't wait to get this back on the aircraft. As you can see, the blue still has kind of some marks uh, down below. Um, at one point, you know, in the future, if I end up getting a good color match and a good paint for that, I may redo it at that time. I ended up repainting this part of the... Uh, you know, kind of the top part of the cowl. There has been a repair at one point uh, on these Piper Tomahawks. They're notorious for cracking. So it looks like at some point in the past, somebody repaired that. I ended up repainting this section. Can't wait to get it back on this bird. Anyways, I'm gonna open up the door uh, to get a little more light in the hanger and I'll show you the rest of what I've been working on. Now this aircraft is just getting ready to have its annual inspection completed. One of the things that we're waiting for is for the propeller to come back from overhaul. My aircraft maintenance engineer has it, so hopefully this week we'll get that bolted on along with the new belt. Uh, one of the mufflers had to get replaced, so we went with the muffler from Acorn Welding in Edmonton. And I think the muffler that they created after looking at it and comparing it to the factory one, I think it's better than the factory one, so I'm really excited about that. Now I've got a battery minder on this aircraft. I just put it on this morning. So it's getting the battery topped up uh, and it'll maintain the battery charge while the aircraft isn't being flown. Uh, now I've got a new gasket for the fuel caps. So I'll be doing that this week. I've also got some gaskets for the gascalator on the aircraft. So those will be kept in stock uh, for the next maintenance on the aircraft.
Now, one of the things I really like about the Southern Alberta climate is just how little moisture we get. Now, looking down the tunnel of the fuselage here, you can see how clean that aluminum is. That's aluminum straight from 1979. Now, one of the items I had to get covered off in the annual inspection are those trim springs you see there. Now, they are a time-limited component, so those had to get replaced. Uh, also, you can see the ELT bracket from the old ELT. Uh, right when I bought the aircraft, there was a shop that actually certified that ELT for two years saying it was good to go but there's actually an internal fault in it so it was junk so we had to get a new 406 ELT 406 megahertz ELT uh, which will be mounted under the pilot seat move it out of the cargo bay and uh, the remote switch for that ELT is going to be installed where this unused instrument uh, location is so uh, a new mounting plate and switch are, are going to be set up there uh, I'm going to have a panel mounted here that will mount an iPad on a RAM mount and in this uh, hole here, there's going to be an hour meter. Well, there was an hour meter that's getting removed and an auxiliary power port is going in its place. Now, I had uh, these yoke covers made by a gentleman uh, named Kevin Bell in the States. You can see a little bit of puckering here. I just need to uh, tighten this up and make it tighter. That'll smooth all that out and it'll look great. Uh, so kind of to cover up the ratty ratty rubber on the factory yoke uh, so those covers will mask that uh, just kind of spruce it up a little bit so excited about what's happening in the interior now one of the things i really like about the tomahawk is this t-tail now i'm always a fan of aircraft with t-tails i just think they look so cool and the tomahawk is no different i just think it looks great one of the things i was worried about when i bought this aircraft was the uh, door clearance coming in and out of the building I was really worried that this T-tail was going to strike it, but I've got about two inches. So two inches uh, separate me from getting the plane out and destroying the plane, but we're going to make it work. So that's it. Hopefully you can hear me okay. There's a crop duster running in the background. Uh, they're in the middle of spray season, so they pretty much go sun up, sun down. Uh, so there's one running outside uh, the hangar right now. Anyways, that's what we've been up to with this aircraft. So I'm really hoping we can get flying again soon. I haven't had a whole lot of time on this aircraft yet, so I'm just itching to get up in the sky. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, feel free to like it. Feel free to subscribe. You'll get notified when the next one is out. Uh, thanks for following along and see you again next time.